Yep. There he is. Oh! Oh! Well, folks, good morning, and welcome to middle of the nowhere, Illinois. I just drove two hours from my house to what many people, and what I can probably agree with, is the best lake in the state, only to find out it is closed for deer season. So, I'm two hours away from my house, pulled over on the side of the road, where I, just where I found signal, and um, is I'm going to a different lake. I don't really know. I, uh, I did a little map searching and there's a couple lakes around here, a couple lakes I've wanted to fish and I think I found the best one. It's not too far out of my way, but I'm pretty upset. I was looking forward to fishing here. There's a lot of fish in this lake. You know, it, it is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, we're gonna go explore a new lake. This is really not the way I wanted to film my intro. I woke, I got, let's see, I got 37 minutes to the next lake. So we're gonna get a little, a little bit of a late start on the morning, but at the end of the day, I guess it is what it is. We're gonna try and go catch some bass somewhere else. I, uh, I gotta be honest, this is pretty embarrassing, but at the same time, how was I supposed to know? I mean, I just, just figured I could go fish. I mean, I don't deer hunt, I don't pay attention to any of that. So, lesson learned. Um, maybe you guys can learn from me. I guess we will go ahead and start the drive. I don't wanna say the name of the lake, to the next lake. That sucks because I've been driving for two hours just thinking in my head, God dang, I wanna go fishing. So, I guess I'll shut up and uh, we'll go ahead and drive to the lake now, again. All right, y'all, welcome to lake number two of the day. Um, it's cold and it started raining. Oh, I just put a treble hook in my foot. There was a ramp fee, but I couldn't figure out how to pay it. The machine didn't seem to take card and it only took fives. So the number I called didn't answer. So I'm hoping I don't get in big troubles. Probably will, who knows. I think I'm just going to start and take a lap around the lake. It's not a very big lake, but it's decent size for Illinois. I think it's like 800 acres. So we'll go ahead and take a lap, see what she looks like. And then uh, probably go from there. We got 45.7 degree water, which actually isn't that bad. Oh, 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 that was cool. Oh, we got it crossways. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, 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 that was freaking cool. That's sick. Look at that. Oh, my God. That was freaking awesome. That was awesome, dude. That's the way you want them to eat it. That's why we throw that buoy out. One knocker, dude. They don't get enough of it. All right. Let's go ahead and get him unhooked and get back out there. That is freaking. That makes me feel good. That makes me feel really good. Brand new lake. Never been here before. Spent the last probably 30 minutes graphing. Came back here, found some grass. And that was what I was looking for when I was graphing. So, I mean, found what I was looking for. And, uh,. We might be in for a decent day, boys. We're gonna go ahead and get a quick weight on this fish. 2.5, 2.5, all right. Save that. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's some cool colors on him too. He's got a cool little spot on his tail. Bye bye. There he is. There he is. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. I don't know if you heard me say I said it kind of quiet because I was talking to myself. But I'm like, I'm sure I can throw a jig or a tube at these rocks and catch one. Or a jerk bait. And why would I when I can cover a whole bunch of water 
with a freaking trap and catch fish, dude. Another one. Another one. Alright, I ain't gonna weigh this one. We're just gonna toss him back. And then uh we're gonna keep going because I'm having a good time. I am having a a swell old time. Alright, I don't know if you can hear me through the wind noise. But I guess I'll try and be a good YouTuber and try and break down what I'm doing today. See if it'll work or not, and maybe help somebody else. But uh fish that first cut, and then now out here I'm kind of on the main lake. Uh up uh kind of up the far north end and uh there's grass mat all along this edge and i probably shouldn't have pulled the trail motor up yet but uh it's all dead grass and well i don't really like to fish dead grass i don't think fish use it and from what i understand it actually pulls oxygen out of the water instead of putting it in so that being said we're gonna make a move i guess i'm just gonna look for another cut like that one because that one seemed to have fish in it There he is. Oh yeah, completely a bass. Feels kind of weird. I don't know what he is. What is it? Oh, why is my drag so tight? Oh, dude, it could be. Oh, look at that crappie. That is a slab. God dang. Freaking slab crappie. There he is. Oh, that one could be good. Anyway, he felt big. He hit kind of strong. Again, I don't know if you heard it because I was talking to myself, but I said I'm about ready to catch a fish again. And there he is. I think I know what we're going to be doing the rest of our day. This guy's got like a funky little sore on his, on his gill plate. He's all beat up. Anyway, see you, bub. Yeah. So as you saw, I just caught another fish, my third one of the day, I think, and then crappie, of course, and the giant catfish I hooked, possibly snagged a carp, I don't know what it was, or a log. All of my fish have been in little cuts, I don't know, you probably can't really tell, but this is a small cut, I mean, it's, it's less than a quarter mile long for sure, and it's just off the main lake. And like I said, when I was graphing, I found a cove that set up just like this, but it was a big old long creek arm, it was probably a mile, probably a mile to three quarter of a mile long. But it sets up exactly like what I've been catching fish off of. So I think that's where I'm gonna head. Probably gonna run to the back and fish out, I think. Because, I don't know, it just feels like I should do that. So, there you go, that's the plan. There he is. Oh, what do we got? I ain't bad. He's tiny. Well, I think I got him patterned, and I think I know what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. This little guy. Really want to find out how to catch some big ones, though, man. <laughs> nice. It's a little better. That's a little better. Dude, I'm telling you, winter fishing is hard, but it's simple. I mean, I just rolled up on a deep lay down. I went and threw a jerk bait at it. I was giving it real long pauses. I went to just pick it up and actually reel it in. And there he was. I'm going to weigh him. He's probably a. 14 inch keeper he's definitely i don't think he's 15 inches which i think that's actually the limit on this lake but i don't care i'm gonna weigh him and still 1.9 safe all right perfect see you bud i got 45.4 degree water here now as you can see got two big deep lay downs 21 foot out here kind of in the main main creek channel I mean, it's, it's super simple, dude. It really is. 
I mean, I'm tucked back in a cove a little bit. I'm just kind of reel them down a little bit. A little bitty twitch. Count to seven or eight in your head. As long as you can, really. I mean, the longer the better. I mean, I you're not going to really catch me ever doing more than a 10 second pause because I just can't do it. And then you just, little twitches. That's all it takes. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. There he is. Oh yeah. That one might make me wish I had my net. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Alright, fish. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. I don't know how well he's hooked. Oh, not well. Oh. There he is. All right. Okay. That's better. That's a lot better. Okay, for sure. For sure. Uh, 2.6. Alright, I thought he was bigger than that. He is not. But I will gladly, gladly take him. Look at that. That is a beautiful little chunk. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and drop the 2.6 back. See you later, buddy. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, of course this freaking chest camera is giving me troubles. Well, I got a rattle trap hung up here, or lipless, whatever you want to call it. And I got a two and a half right here on a tube, son. <laughs> Look at that, son, yes. Dude, I don't know what's wrong with my chest camera, but I bet that back camera footage is looking pretty good still. Right at the top of the mountain, dude. You can't beat that, can you? No, no, you can't. All right, 2.4, 2.46. Heck yeah, buddy. Nice. Get out of here, bud. There's 306, all right, 306. And I want to catch a giant bass. The sunset's about 4.30, and I don't think the lipless is gonna catch me a giant bass. So for now, my plan is to go find some lay downs about five foot of water on top of them go flip a tube at them because that two and a half i just caught i feel like that tells me if there is a lay down bite that should be a big fish pattern and yeah at this point i could really care less about catching another small fish i just want to go catch one or two big fish so let's go make it happen Real deep, cannot tell. That was a fish. Oh, that was a fish. <laughs> nice, dude. I think we, uh, oh my god. Holy balls. <laughs> oh, that's a new one. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That is a new one for me, boys. The poor fish. Oh my god. No wonder you're skinny. No wonder you felt like a leaf. Just a little guy. See ya. It's probably, probably 14 inches or so, but. There's a little uh, log in the water there. 
had probably five foot of water on it i think i uh i think i found a better pattern than what i was running earlier that is for certain Yep. Got him. Oh, that could be big. Is he? He hasn't came up yet. Oh, my God. Dude, he felt like a daggum tank. What a freaking goon. I can't believe I called this fish big. I feel completely embarrassed. That is awful. I'm disappointed in myself. All right. Get out of here, you little fart. and rig back up and get back in there look at this freaking thing i'm fishing this is a beaver dam right next to this giant sexy there's no other there's no other way to describe this this is just sexy just a giant lay down right on top of a beaver dam Another one? Uh, I think, maybe. Oh my god. Two fish. Two fish out of this freaking thing. That's a better one, too. Oh my god, that is awesome. I'm gonna throw him on the scale just so I can have five fish weighed. And then, uh, I mean, he's probably 13, 14. I think he's probably 14. But, uh, dude this place is awesome i'm falling in love with this place 1.8 all right bub let's get you out of here see ya thanks for playing Oh, oh, <laughs> that was cool. Hi, bub. Hola, how are you? Just a little gay. I, I mean, I got me hung up. I thought he came off. I knew I had a bite, though. Just a little baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's not ideal. Yikers. Yikers. Uh-oh. 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 That one's a... I'm going to say that one's a goner. Oh, Jesus. That is awful. Huh. Um. No more Dominky rig for... Um. Today. There he is, that's a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another scopey. I keep saying they're good ones, dude. They're not. They're really not. I'm sorry. They're just cold. They feel like dead weight. I don't know. It's, it's pretty much dark. We're still catching them, though. I mean, it's just a... It's just a pretty decent little day.
Alrighty y'all, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. But, it's a fun day out there on the water. I can't complain. I mean, I just got to explore a new lake, which is pretty awesome. I don't get to do that too much anymore in the state of Illinois, at least. So, I was happy with that. I was really happy to go catch some fish, especially go catch fish on a tube. It was fun to just, like, set the hook on a couple of fish. So, yeah, it was a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you learned something about bringing down a new lake, fishing in the winter. But, it was a good time. Like I said, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and that. Catch you all on the next one.